Vicenza, Italy. Three rivers converge in the heart of this city. When they swell and their water levels rise too much, they endanger the historic old town and the people who live here. Disaster management officials then have to act fast. They need to quickly assess emergency situations and take appropriate action. Here, they're testing a new app with which citizens can also help. We are uh, like simulating a danger, uh, a flood here in Vicenza, and we are sending some, uh, like some reports, some warnings to the operation center. Anyone can upload photos, videos, and voice messages from their smartphones or tablets, describing the situation where they are or flagging where help is needed. The system collects information sent in by citizens and consolidates it on a platform for the emergency management. This multi-purpose system is called XR for Drama. It was developed by experts from four European countries as part of an EU project. The Vicenza team is testing the platform for use in the event of a natural disaster. XR for Drama is basically about making uh, information available quickly, intuitively, in a way that is easily accessible. And that saves resources and time and is, in the case of disaster management, hopefully make the response better. The data uploaded via app is displayed as points of interest on a map and supplemented with information from satellites and public databases. This comprehensive approach helps disaster management officials gain a detailed understanding of a situation known as situation awareness. Well, situation awareness goes beyond having an idea of where it is, this location, or what the surroundings are. It is important to know what the situation is really like and get a feel for it, even from a remote position. But that's not the only purpose XR for Drama can be used for. It can also support media professionals. At Deutsche Welle in Berlin, the team is using it to plan a mock film production on the Greek island of Corfu. We are planning a documentary that takes place on different sites uh, in the old town of Corfu and in the old fortress of Corfu, where a host is presenting a documentary, where a host does some interviews with guests, etc. The documentary Axel Primavesi and his colleague Nico Heise are discussing is not real, it's just a test. In fact, it will be the first practical test the system's final prototype has to pass. The filmmakers aim to plan the entire production remotely using XR4 Drama, relying on its dashboard to collect all the information as well as any outstanding questions. Without a system like XR4 Drama, I don't have any chance to prepare like this. I don't have a place where all the information is, is gathered in one package. We are defining the area of production and then we are assigning tasks to the location scout. The system gathers information automatically, but there's a lot of stuff where we depend on the location scout, what he has to do. Over on Corfu, their colleague Alexander Plaum is acting as location scout. If this were a real shoot, pre-selecting filming spots would save the film team time and help them prepare. He finds his assignments in the XR4 Drama app. The first location he's to explore is the central Spianada Square in the city of Corfu. I'm supposed to find a good filming spot, uh, take a 360 degrees photo, uh, do an, an audio recording, uh, place a mixed reality setup, and take a picture of the setup on the square. Mixed reality blends the real world and virtual elements. In this case, Alexander can place a virtual film crew in the location to assess the available space. He uploads the photo, and the system automatically adds the exact location where it was taken. Usually I would have needed, I don't know, a notepad and a wiki uh, and, a, and a camera and a, and a task management system. And now it's like one application, it's like a, a one-stop shop for, for location scouting and fixing. Then he records the requested audio samples, because the soundscape of a place is also very important when selecting a filming location.
Filmmaker Axel Primavesi in Berlin will now choose the location in Corfu. Back in Vicenza, Italy, a test scenario is being run that simulates a flood threatening the old town, with residents sending pictures and warnings to the emergency management. Martina Monigo is in charge of the flood simulation. She's demonstrating the benefits of the new technology to first responders and emergency services. Vicenza had a big flood in 2010 and they really want to do something uh, about sun and be, be prepared uh, to challenge uh, another situation like that. And they spend a lot of resources uh, and people uh, to prevent uh, uh, dangerous situation and especially their effects on the territory and to the people. The command center can also use the system to assign tasks to the rescuers. Martina Monigo explains how it works. And then it's time to head out. The first task goes to Silvia Beato and her colleagues. They have to secure a road with flood barriers. They use the app's mixed reality mode to determine the precise number of barriers they will need. This way is immediately, mm -hmm. so we can see the real situation uh, in real time. Mm -hmm. Now we, we call an office, the other office call another one, is many, many, many steps mm -hmm. to arrive uh, to have a situation mm -hmm. uh, in the plane. Now is uh, immediately here mm -hmm. with, this, with this app. It seemed that uh, the, also the first responders, but also the headquarters were very happy with the way the system uh, uh, worked. Um, they ha we had some positive evaluations there. Uh, we believe we will have the same uh, these days also for video production. Back to Corfu with location scout Alexander. In an emergency situation, being able to access information quickly is crucial. But for filming, the level of detail matters more than speed. These 3D models allow Axel to gain a real sense of the locations from his office in Berlin. Also thanks to larger 3D models generated from multiple drone images, such as this one depicting the old Venetian fortress on Corfu. The team still needs one last location for an interview with guests. Alexander finds a particularly good spot in front of St. George's Church and notes it in the app. Now it's up to the colleagues in Berlin. Uh, they are going to decide uh, what, what comes next. Uh, they will look, look at the map again and, and all the assets we collected and they'll have a, a virtual production meeting, uh, which means they will put on their VR headsets and walk around the old town of Corfu uh, as if on site. Uh, and then, you know, pick the right angles, uh, prepare the pr production and yeah, we're good to go. It's time for Axel to put on the headset and test the system. Will the collected data work in virtual reality? When I stand in front of this church and I place a model there of a setup, then I really get to see a scale of things and I even can change the day of time. So this gives me in advance a lot of information altogether to quite precisely plan a production. A success for Alexander Plaum on Corfu and for the entire XR for Drama team. Their final prototype passed two different tests for two very different purposes. The project uh, has um, developed uh, all these uh, uh, features in, uh, in the platform that uh, eventually have become really useful in all these cases. We have people using it and they see the value that we had thought, okay, we can potentially create. And that's also the challenge, having the technology, but making it applicable, seeing what can actually be used, what can be of uh, interest to the users. What I mostly enjoyed in the XR for Drama project uh, is the use of uh, XR and the immersive tools that uh, are by themselves uh, very exciting. 
And uh, what I also liked uh, is the chance uh, to see their application in uh, real life uh, scenarios. So it was quite interesting to especially to work together with different partners from various countries and each of them having so many different skills. I think the spirit in the team thing is about bringing people from various institutions together and just develop a vision and a common goal. Every time is great because we are a bit to work with different partners, with different nationality. I enjoyed a lot the technical discussions with all the partners. Only to see all this technology come together in Vicenza when we tested it in this year in 2023 and where all technology went online and um, we saw how the people on the map moved uh, we were able to read out their stress level and yeah that was uh, my most memorable moment of the project my most memorable moment in the project I think it was when the Vicenza municipality after having participated in the pilot ask when the system will be available for disaster management for real. I really liked experimenting with lots of new technologies uh, for a good cause and with people from all over Europe. A dream would really be to have an app like XR for drama for future media productions because it's really some, some kind of very helpful gadget that brings much information together and it's very useful.